Well, good morning, everyone. Um, Goldie Lobster and I are sitting here in a restaurant ordering our <laughs> hot coffee. Hot coffee and hot breakfast. <laughs> and hot breakfast. Hot oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, something that's, that's not uh, oatmeal or Pop-Tarts. Uh, to celebrate our first day off the trail after tagging the border a couple of days ago. And I just wanted to make this quick introduction to the following series of videos um, showing our hike actually into the to the uh, border to uh, let you know there's going to be a little bit of a change in the format. Um, yeah, there's going to be all the usual uh, beautiful scenery and the great music and even uh, cameo appearances by by the Cougar. But um, there was something interesting this year with the change in the, the regulations, of course, with um, Canada being closed, we were not able to go from the monument out to uh, Manning Park, which is the usual way, way people exit the PCT. Instead, we had to go from Hearts Pass, hike 30 miles, tag the border, turn around and hike 30 miles out. That actually turned out to be a blessing because in that final 30 miles, or I should say the final 60 miles that we hiked, we saw more hikers, a lot of them that we knew, than, than we'd seen on many, most of the trail. And it was really, uh, it was almost like going to my class reunion in some ways. We saw hikers that we hadn't seen for months. Uh, some hikers we hadn't seen for hundreds of miles or thousands of miles. We saw all of those in that last 60 mile stretch. And I wanted to kind of give them a chance to say hi to everybody on camera. Um, just, just for you who have been through hikers before or potential through hikers, I can't really explain the kind of bond that you form with people, even though you may have only met them a few times. You feel an instant connection with someone who's been through an experience like that uh, with you. So, so in the next few videos, I'm going to spend a little bit more time just interviewing other hikers, giving them a chance to say hi on screen, and I hope you'll enjoy that. So anyway, thanks for following, and here's uh, the first video of our return to the PCT. September 27th, we are headed back on trail. Um, it's the afternoon right now, so we wanted to stop before we head up in the mountains to have one last meal. We're here between, um, whoa, <laughs> no light. We're here just outside of Mazama Village. Um, here's Goldie sitting across from me, and we're eating at, I don't know if they would play Woodstone, Woodstone, Pe uh, Woodstone Pizzeria. And here it is. <laughs> so. You never pass up a free pizza or a chance to have it. Is it free? Okay, we're on the forest road here. The pavement just ended. So uh, we got about two more miles to go. And then we turn off this road to go up the road that takes us to Hearts Pass. And uh, apparently that road is significantly worse than the one we just turned on to because as I had said in an earlier video uh, it's apparently not even approved for trailers uh, it's just cars only so hopefully we can film that good morning everyone September 28th uh, back on the PCT or almost back on the PCT you can see our truck in the background we didn't drive that up the PCT so we could set our tent up um, we ended up getting up here fairly late in the afternoon yesterday, uh, too late for us to uh, actually do any hiking. So what we decided to do is, um, instead of driving all the way up to Rainy Pass, Hearts we're, Pass. Or, I'm sorry, thank you for the correction, Hearts Pass. <laughs> instead of driving all the way up to Hearts Pass, we um, camped kind of at the bottom of the pass, uh, probably a, a couple thousand feet lower in elevation where it wasn't going to be quite so cold last night. So uh, according to the GPS, it's 11 miles from here up to the uh, Hearts Pass campground. So we're going to get our camp packed up here, uh, drive up there, and 
We'll start the final leg of our PCT hike. Hello, come, let's see some beautiful sights together. Okay, I'm leaving the road. And there's the sign, Hearts Pass. 10 miles that way. Okay, let's see what this road is like. You guys saw the sign earlier that said uh, that uh, no trailers were allowed on this road, which is the reason we couldn't bring our goats up with us. So hopefully they were right. It is actually a bad road because I'm going to be pissed if it's a nice wide road like it shows right here where we could have brought our trailer up. All right, we're a little further up the road now and you can see it is starting to get narrow. Um, interestingly, uh, a couple of facts about the road to Hearts Pass. According to Goldilocks, she looked it up on a website called dangerousroads.org and um, the road up here to Hearts Pass is the highest road in the state of Washington. That's one factoid. And, uh, and the fact it's listed as a dangerous road because apparently it's barely wide enough for two vehicles to pass each other. Although we really haven't seen anything quite that bad here. In fact, uh, the reality is that Goldilocks and I have been on half a dozen roads or more, God, probably 15 or 20 roads in the state of Idaho that make this look like a highway. So um, maybe they have a different standard for roads in Washington. But, maybe it gets worse. But yeah, or maybe it gets worse. We're only about two or three miles up the road right now, but if we see any sketchier parts, I'll uh, definitely want to record those. Okay, now the, the road starting to get just a little bit uh, narrower here with a sheer drop off to our to our left of about a thousand feet. So the road's starting to live up to its reputation. Okay, let's see. Um, Pacific Crest, <laughs> zoom in. Pacific Crest Trail North, we go right two miles. Okay, we made it up to the Hearts Pass, and uh, despite all the warnings about the horrible, treacherous road, the reality was there's only about a half mile section, uh, bathroom over there, that was, uh, it was at all bad. In my experience, I'd give it a 7 out of 10 when it comes to bad roads. But uh, let's see, here's uh, Goldilocks over here. We met a couple of other PCT hikers. Say hi, Flash. What's up? Uh, there's another one over on out of the frame here that I'm not going to, that he's asked not to be uh, shown. But uh, for some of you who hiked the trail this year, he's, uh, he's in a bathrobe. So <laughs> that might uh, tip you off as to who I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey, you're not on video. You said you don't want to be on video. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, so Flash, What's up? what day what did you start? Uh, May 13th. May 13th, okay. And you're going to finish up, uh, you just uh, walk. Tomorrow. You just, <laughs> oh, okay. He's in disguise. Nobody will, nobody will recognize him now. <laughs> so, okay. Um, anyway, so you... <laughs> How soon you guys think you're gonna be able to get the in and out again? Oh, dude! <laughs> Thirty. It's a sixty miles round trip. I'll be uh, finished by four this afternoon. <laughs> okay. I'm an ultra lighter. Oh, gonna have a. You must have a motorcycle I'm stash just, somewhere. Wherever I end up, I'm stopping, and I'm from here on out. As long as the sun stays, I'm just taking. My you're time. you're gonna crank it out. All right. <laughs> I well, cool. my funny because I started in May. I felt like I had to rush. So yeah, now is my time where I'm like here. Well, if you started in May and you're here, you were huff, you were hoofing it, man. That's yeah. a pretty good time. Good time. Thanks. So, all right. Well, we need to get ourselves on the road. You ready to go? Yep. Okay. Let's t let's do it. Decided to use the uh, nice restroom. There's a saying among PCT hikers: never pass up a never pass up a chance to use a an actual toilet, but. This one was kind of funny because uh, I walked in here and as you can see they're completely out of toilet paper but someone has has very courteously put some tree moss here to use uh, 
as the emergency toilet paper. So obviously a hiker, because who else would think of that? <laughs> okay. Three years in the planning. Six and a half months on trail. 31 miles to go to the border. Let's do it. In the two weeks we had been off trail, the landscape of the Washington Cascades had undergone a dramatic change. A four day long storm that had hit western Washington the week before had helped quench the numerous forest fires and completely cleared the air of the suffocating smoke that had forced us off trail back in Packwood. Ironically, this storm, which poured freezing rain on the lower elevations and up to six inches of snow on the higher sections of the PCT, forced many hikers, including those who bravely stayed on trail through the smoke and fires, to retreat to the nearby trail towns to thaw out their frozen bodies and dry soaked tents, sleeping bags, and clothing while they waited for the storm to pass. Unfortunately, the storm proved too much for some, the final straw, and they, and they <coughs> left the trail in defeat. But the, for those who remained, they were rewarded with sunny skies, warm temperatures, and a dazzling display of fall colors. Stop here and have lunch. Turned out to be a good place for everybody to stop and eat lunch. Here's Flash, just finished his ramen. gorgeous. Okay, we've made our campsite for the night. It's about seven o'clock and I say this all the time, but uh, the camera always makes it look a lot brighter than it really is out here. It's getting close to dark, 
But this is the campsite we're at right now. Beautiful place. A couple of hikers just came by a few minutes ago and they commented that our, our tent blends right in with the background, which it actually does, as you can see. Um, you can also see I put my fleece on and my my hat because as soon as that sun went down the temperature started to plummet i bet it's dropped 20 degrees in the past 30 minutes i don't know it's going to be a pretty cold night certainly certainly going to drop below freezing but uh lucky luckily there's a little uh well it's a teeny tiny little creek i can barely even call it a creek but it's, it's water for tonight so i'm going to go fetch some right now Goldie will make our dinner, and then it'll be time to turn in. Uh, we did about 10 miles today. The trail was actually relatively easy and uh, absolutely beautiful. But I'll tell you what, two weeks off trail, I feel like I started over from scratch. My legs and back are killing me, and Goldie is just as bad as I am. So uh, it's really disappointing. All those months of hiking and a couple weeks home, and it turned all to flab. So we're going to turn in, get a good night's sleep. See you guys in the morning.